Welcome to the series of Relational Database Management System. Myself is Fatima Rafiq, Assistant Professor, Aved Ramda Senior College, BCA Department. We have started with the concept that is chapter number 5, Crash Recovery. We have just seen the failure classification in last lecture. Today, we will see what are the recovery concepts. Once the system is crash, there may be any reason, it, is made, uh, it may be the system error, it may be a hardware failure, it may be a uh, input that is user is providing is not correct. Because of any reason the system get crash or system halt its execution. We need to apply the recovery procedure for that. System log keeps information about the changes made to the data item by the various transactions. Whenever the transaction is actually running at the same time, like when we browse a, uh, when we use a Google Chrome and when we search anything, the Chrome maintain its history. That's same way when you execute the number of transactions at the time, the transaction maintain one file which is called a system log file. The system log file or a log file keeps the information about the changes made to the data item by, by various transactions. It helps in recovery method. So whenever we uh, apply the recovery method, uh, actually there are uh, multiple recovery methods, but we will be looking towards the recovery method by using log file. So the log file is a file or the system log is a file which keep tracks all the information, all the things which the data item uh, is, the da transaction is changing in the data item. It helps in recovery method. Consider the bank transaction which transfer the amount for account A to B. If the system crash during the transaction, we can either re-execute the transaction or do not re-execute the transaction. If the transaction get fail, what will happen? Either if we really want to execute it again, we will re-execute it or what we can do? We can just cancel the transaction. The main aim of this doing this is to maintain the atomicity. After the recovery, we have to keep the state of the transaction and also check whether the transaction can be complete or needs to be rolled back. So if after the recovery, we have to check the state of the transaction, whether the transaction is actually completed or it is in between, it is not completed. So if the complete transaction is there or if we are able to complete the transaction, we will complete the transaction. But if it require the transaction, uh, if it making some inconsistency in, in the database, we will roll back it. We must ensure that no transaction should leave the database uh, in an inconsistent state. Like for example, if you consider three transactions which is running simultaneously. Transaction T1 is completed, transaction T2 and T3 is not completed. So that two, T2 and T3 must uh, roll back at, we need to remove all its changes which is done in the database by transaction T2 and T3. Why we are doing this? Because of the, because we want the database to be consistent. It should not happen that we are, uh, we are performing the recovery procedure and that recovery procedure is doing the inconsistent or making the database state as inconsistent state. For uh, the recovery concept, we will be, because we will be using a system log. So for a system log, we, uh, we will require some basic concepts to be understand so we will see what is checkpoint and some more keywords now what is checkpoint what is a checkpoint when a system failure occurs some transaction needs to be redone and some needs to be undone log record can find out with this but for that we need to search the entire log also it is a time consuming and if some transaction have already written their updates into the database then redoing of the transaction will be uh, should be avoided hence to overcome this problem checkpoints are introduced like for example I, just now i told you that if i have a transaction t1 t2 and t3 t1 transaction is executed uh, completed its execution then t2 is executing and t3 is executing and the system get crash at that time we rec we use the log file to search uh, and but the searching has to be an entire log whether the transaction is written or updated its content or whether we want the transaction to redo its redo the operation or undo all the operations for avoiding the inconsistency so to avoid uh, uh, avoid this problem what we can use we can use a checkpoint concept while checkpoint is in the progress no transaction is allowed to perform any update action whenever the checkpoint is 
in the execution so all the transaction whether it is a read or write it should not update any action when the checkpoint is performed all the log record which are currently in the main memory are stored in some stable storage so checkpoint is there if your checkpoint is performed what will happen the log record whatever log record we are having currently in the main memory we know, we know that the execution is actually running in the main memory and all the effects of that uh, after completion of the transaction will go back to the stable storage that is the second memory so if the checkpoint is there what will happen the effect of main memory it, it gets stored in the second uh, secondary storage or a uh, some stable storage permanently also the record of checkpoint is written in the log file it helps in the recovery procedure after failure like whenever if the transaction is getting uh, if the transaction is fail so we need not recover it from the beginning but we will check the uh, last checkpoint because we know that the check whenever the checkpoint is executed the uh, effect of the transaction is getting permanently stored on the secondary device checkpoint is a mechanism well where all the previous logs are removed from the system and are stored perm permanently in a storage disk checkpoint declare a point before which the database was in the consistent state and all the transaction were committed if the checkpoint is present in checkpoint entry is present in the system log it means that all the effect all the operations before the checkpoint is done in the secondary storage and the database is also consistent now next what is commit commit command is it uh, it is used to like commit commit command is used uh, to permanently save any transaction in the into the database it is same as like checkpoint checkpoint why we whenever we have a very big uh, transaction at that time because this transaction may require <coughs> may be a victim of failure because there are multiple uh, thousands of transactions so at that time to uh, the recovery the cost of recovery is very high just for maintaining that or just to uh, keep check of that we will be using a checkpoint another concept or another operation when we execute the transaction is commit operation commit command generally whenever there is a commit command is getting executed it means that whatever effect of the transaction uh, is there in the main memory will be get transferred into the secondary device that in the, that that is the secondary storage if the transaction execute all its operation successfully it is said to be a committed all its effect are now permanently stay established on the database system after the commit point the transaction write and entry commit ti onto the log the log file which we say that a system log file which uh, is a uh, which is like a history of the transaction will also have a checkpoint and uh, uh, also have a entry uh, with a commit with the transaction or depend depend the transaction t um, t1 t2 or t3 if system failure occur the log is search back for the transaction that have written the start transaction entry in the log but do not make the commit ti means if the transaction started so it has a uh, keyword that is a start transaction and if the transaction does not commit it means that this transaction has to be roll back or undo their effects because they have not committed commit means what the transaction is completed its execution successfully and the effect of the transaction is permanently save on the secondary device but if the some transactions are there who are not committed transactions so we need we, we must remove their effect we must roll back and undo uh, the effects of their them in the database item transactions are committed must have to record all the all their write entries into the log so their effect on the database can be redone from the log entries so here by using the commit uh, commit operation uh, we will be able to recover the system if all the transactions are committed we permanently save their effect on the secondary device if they are not committed we will remove their effect from the um, uh, from the main memory so the database can be a consistent database i hope this is clear to you will continue the series if you find any difficulty any doubt write in the comment box thank you